Welcome back to My Tech Wardrobe. My name is Caitlin and I do random fashion videos on the internet for fun. And today we're finally doing the Grace Kelly video. Grace Kelly has always been a bit of an enigma to me. In contrast to Audrey Hepburn, who I know a lot about and have seen many of her films, I've seen remarkably few of Grace Kelly's films. I've seen probably Rear Window, High Society, and I honestly think that might be about it. She was really only in Hollywood for a very short amount of time before she became a literal princess, but I am aware that she is a fashion icon nonetheless. So if you're not familiar with the life story of Grace Kelly, she essentially started her career off as a model, became a movie star, in fact one of the hottest movie stars of her time. Everybody wanted Grace Kelly in their films. She won an Oscar very early on in her career, sort of similar to Audrey Hepburn, and then poof! Met a prince at the Cannes Film Festival and went off to Monaco to become a princess. You couldn't even write that. And if you wrote that, people would say it's too fantastical. I can't believe it. <laughs> her life seems like a fairy tale from the outside, and certainly the clothing that she wore throughout her lifetime would certainly make it seem so. Now, not everyone's life is perfect. Obviously, she was still a person despite being a huge superstar and a princess. I talked about this a little bit in my Audrey Hepburn video. Despite their status as fashion icons, they were still people, which to me, still make them a little bit relatable. Although I will say, you know, the more you look at pictures of Grace Kelly, the more and more you feel like a potato yourself. So caution. <laughs> Researching this video, I was like, oh yes, hmm, ooh, very, yes, very pretty. Oh. Okay, maybe I'm just gonna go ahead and um, stop looking at these photos for my own self-esteem. Grace Kelly is a really interesting study in fashion because according to a lot of fashion experts like Zach Posen and Tommy Hilfiger, she was certainly an icon of her time, but she didn't necessarily push fashion forward in any specific way. Her looks were often copied, but she never was really pushing the envelope and trying avant-garde things. She was still very much within that 1950s era style. But of course, her very famous wedding dress in 1956 to Prince Rainier of Monaco has been often copied, most notably by Princess Kate, but also through other people and designers over time. This silhouette has influenced wedding fashion in a big way, especially in the few decades after she got married. Today, I really wanna talk about Grace Kelly's style specifically in a way that makes it a little bit more accessible to the rest of us plebs who uh, are not famous movie stars and are not about to become a princess to a small European nation. And who also aren't necessarily blonde bombshell Hitchcock girls. So similar to my Audrey video, I'm going to walk you through a couple of ways that you can emulate Grace Kelly's style without necessarily having to copy it directly. Because as I mentioned before, we don't all have designers at our disposal. We don't have uh, buckets and oodles of money. We have our time that we can spend putting these looks together and that's about it. So I'm going to hopefully teach you how to bring a little more Grace Kelly energy into your wardrobe and hopefully make use of things you already have. One thing I really like about Grace Kelly's casual looks is that they sort of prove you don't have to be a famous movie star to dress like one. These first couple of photos, these are sort of casual, more relaxed looks. And this is just straight up a pair of high-waisted jeans with a patterned button-up and some flats. If you don't have that in your wardrobe, maybe I think you should probably start there <laughs> because this is a look that's accessible to, to everyone, no matter uh, what you look like, what your size is, what your budget is for your fashion. You can make use of a silhouette like this to dress like Grace Kelly anytime. So what I did here was take my Levi's straight rib cage denim and I paired it with a secondhand top, probably from the 90s that I found at a secondhand store, rolled up the sleeves and the pants and paired it with a pair of flats. 
And that's about it. I didn't really have to do anything special with this outfit. And you could make use of a lot of different types of clothing for this combination. You could do dark jeans, light jeans, you could do any pattern on the top as long as it's a button up. You can also have a combination of any button up and any pair of jeans. These high-waisted ones though suit that sort of 1950s style and with the flats it becomes a little bit more Grace Kelly off-duty. I also noticed that she really loved a scarf belt, or whoever dressed her really loved a scarf belt. So she wore those a lot and I don't have one. Uh, so I essentially just took this smaller scarf and I tied it through one of my belt loops in my jeans and you kind of get the same effect. I think it's sort of unique to bring a pop of color into an otherwise pretty neutral outfit. So I actually really like that option. There are a lot of publicity stills as well with her wearing sort of an menswear inspired look with a pair of trousers and again, nice crisp button up with a belt and flats. And she does this seemingly a lot. And a lot of these photos are in black and white, so it's a bit difficult to tell what the colors would be. But if you're trying to emulate it, I think all you need to do is just have a pair of almost paper bag style, high-waisted pants. I got this pair in a few colors from Simon's department store probably three years ago now. So my guess is that they would hit the secondhand clothing market fairly soon, or all you need to do is really just find a high-waisted pair of trousers that taper at the bottom. And a lot of 80s pants these days have that. So if you're looking in a secondhand store, you could find 80s does 50s fairly easily. But I've paired this with a belt at the waist and a button up and some flats. And you can do this in multiple colors and styles and sort of embody that Grace Kelly off-duty sort of look. She shot a couple of films where this was her actual costume, I think in Magambo, that was a lot of what she wore. So if you want a more casual Grace Kelly look, but still feel like you're sort of a movie star, you can do this button up shirt with a pair of trousers and make it look pretty chic actually and put together. There's also a really great photo of her with a suit jacket, which is sort of more like a tweed blazer, but she has it over everything. And I really like that look. It's a very, hmm, I don't even know how to describe it. It was almost the 80s working girl type of fashion before that even existed. There's also quite a few stills of her wearing, you know, the average 1950s high-waisted shorts with either a knit top, so a stripy tank top, or a striped shirt, or any kind of v-neck. You see a lot of these knits with shorts and flats. You saw this on Audrey Hepburn a lot too, but frankly, it's a very 1950s style. So I paired my 1950s vintage gray shorts with this stripy knit top, but you could really do this, again, with any knit top you have and any pair of high-waisted shorts that you have. You don't have to have vintage shorts like I do. I know that they are sometimes few and far between as well. So if you find a really good secondhand pair or you have a pair of high-waisted shorts already that are almost like a paper bag style, you could make this look work fairly easily because odds are you already have a knit t-shirt of some kind in your wardrobe. Now I do want to talk about iconic film looks for a moment. Now you might think Caitlin, she was a movie star and these <laughs> film looks are very glamorous, so like, thanks but no thanks, I'll never be able to recreate this. And while that may be true, we don't all have Hollywood costume designers at our disposal, we can still embody the fit, embody the cuts, embody the type of clothing that she wore to make you feel a little bit Grace Kelly-esque. To start, I wanna talk about this very famous rear window dress. It's got a black off the shoulder style. She's wearing almost a pearl choker. She's got a very voluminous white, I think it's a tulle skirt, but sort of a black strappy sandal. Now, of course, this is gorgeous. It's beautiful. It's a beautiful dress, she looks beautiful in it, but you can have this look too. All you need to do is get a little creative. So while 
You're not likely going to find this exact dress for sale in many places, if at all, even in vintage stores nowadays. What you can do is uh, sort of have a little bit of a copycat look. The way I did this was take a very old H&M shirt that I have. It's off shoulder, it's black, it's almost bodycon, so it's very tight. So that makes it very easy to tuck into a skirt. Now I have this pretty voluminous pleated red and white full 50s skirt. And I've actually put a crinoline under this to give it a bit more volume in the same way that Grace Kelly's dress was pretty voluminous. Now, I do think that not everyone will have a vintage 50s skirt. Again, I know this, but there are a lot of A-line fit and flare midi length skirts out there on the market these days and in secondhand and thrift stores as well. So my recommendation for you, if you can, try to find an off the shoulder shirt that's quite body conforming, tuck that into a more voluminous skirt to give you that Grace Kelly silhouette. And if you have a string of pearls or even a string of faux pearls, then you can put those on as well. Put a great uh, red lip on and some kind of strappy black sandal, any kind. I personally have these black velvet ones I really like, so I included that in the look. But again, you can get creative. As long as you have those elements there, you'll start to feel very regal and very Grace Kelly-esque. And your posture, I should say, also changes quite a bit. When you're wearing an A-line silhouette and a fit and flare, there's something about it that just sort of makes you a bit of a ballerina. <laughs> it's great. So I highly recommend it. If you can try out this look, you can also look like Grace Kelly in Rear Window. Give a uh, little Jimmy Stewart a little... I love Jimmy Stewart, fun fact. I think he's great, even though he looks like a bit of a grandpa in this movie. Next, I wanna talk about something that I read in a Vanity Fair article. The author noted that in a lot of Grace Kelly's films, she's costumed in sort of a pleated style, very Grecian, lots of sort of folds and beautiful pleats and column-esque styles. And that was really meant to harken back to, you know, Greek goddesses and have someone be very statuesque and beautiful and for a lot of costume designers at the time, that was Grace Kelly. So you'll notice in a lot of her films, To Catch a Thief, High Society, she's wearing a lot of beautiful column dresses or dresses with pleats, very Grecian inspired. And I don't have anything like that. But what I do have is a lot of Grecian inspired pleated dresses and wrap dresses. So what I'm about to show you doesn't have an exact replica in Grace Kelly's filmography, but it does make me feel like I could be in the south of France, uh, you know, exchanging banter with a potential con man. You don't know. This blue one is very Grecian. It's got a bit of a, of a different neckline than what Grace Kelly would have gone for, but it's got these beautiful accordion pleats. This green one has these beautiful sleeves and this pleated skirt that's very full. Grace Kelly's favorite color apparently was also green. So if you wear this sort of Kelly green, then you will also be giving a nod to good old Grace Kelly. There's also this sort of more 50s silhouette style dress that has some pleating as well, in addition to this red wrap dress that's a little bit Grecian inspired. Now, Grace Kelly didn't wear red very often, but when she did, she really did. and <laughs> She looked great. So if you wanna have that one moment of Grace Kelly red, then try out a wrap dress because that could give you a little bit of what you're looking for. Grace Kelly also loved sunglasses. She was always in sunglasses and a hat. So if you have 1950s round, not quite cat eye sunglasses, then you're pretty much good to go. So I can't really talk about Grace Kelly's style without talking about her as an actual princess. So as I mentioned, she got married in 1956 
and her wedding dress was immediately the stuff of legends. It was beautiful, it was flowing and gorgeous, but I want to talk about actually the dress set prior to that. So there's this very famous jacket and dress combo that she was wearing when they announced their engagement to the world. So it's almost a bit brocadey. It's uh, got a full skirt. She was wearing a jacket and I have something very similar to this. So this is a 1950s wedding dress that is in a bit of a brocade style and it's got a Peter Pan collar on the jacket. And this just sort of reminds me of that look. It's not exactly the same, of course, but to have it in my collection makes me feel a little bit Grace Kelly-esque. So if you have anything, vintage or not, or re vintage reproduction or not, that makes you feel statuesque, like a movie star, like a princess, chances are you're already embodying Grace Kelly. And as Grace Kelly got older, her style obviously evolved with her. So you see, just like with Audrey Hepburn, you see her embrace a lot more color in the psychedelic 60s and 70s. And even in the 80s, you see her with the big puff sleeves and very funky hats. Grace Kelly loved a hat. I think that's a royal thing. But her style changed over time, as did everyone's. But I do think that if you want to embody a little bit of Princess Grace, you can also think about including more color, more coats and more hats. Realistically, I just want you to know that you don't have to be a princess or be a movie star to dress like one or to feel like one. Grace Kelly was very notable because before she was ever a princess, before she was ever famous, she carried herself that way. She had a very quiet confidence about her, according to all accounts. And that's so important when you're wearing clothing. So when you think about what you're putting together, think about what kind of energy you want. Do you want Audrey Hepburn confidence that day? Do you want Grace Kelly's sort of stoic, quiet confidence? It's really up to you, but hopefully in the outfits that I've shown you thus far, you get a little bit of inspiration to dress like Grace. Ultimately, Grace Kelly was a person. <laughs> yes, she was a princess and a movie star, but she still had looks that you can emulate in your everyday life and get that type of quiet confidence that she had as she was moving through her career. As always, thank you so much for watching and consider subscribing if you liked it. And if you didn't, subscribe anyway, because it might be different next time. Bye.